Ipsy, are you doing okay? Are you feeling feverish? Do you need to like take a rest, take a lay down? Today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. All right, you guys, so we have our little stack of Ipsys and Boxy Charms here. They are starting to dwindle. We're down to one Ipsy bag and two Boxy Charms. I mean, that's pretty good from where we came from. <laughs> Ipsy is at it again. They've announced a new box. This time they literally mean a physical box. So what they've done is they've taken the Ipsy box, which is now Boxy Charm, and they've slightly changed it. So now, instead of it just being a pink box that says Ipsy, um, it is a pink pink and other color box that says Ipsy, even though this is the boxy charm, apparently. However, now they have listed all of the names of their other subscriptions on the side of this box. We have a glam bag, a boxy charm, an icon box, and then the refreshments, which I still honestly don't know what refreshments are. When they came out with the new boxy charms, once they merged and they were just in Ipsy boxes and had nothing to do with boxy charm, I was like, okay, maybe they're trying to like go through old stuff. They don't want to waste boxes, but now they have a brand new box and it still just says Ipsy on the front. <laughs> I just feel like they need to stop trying to make boxy charm happen and just admit that boxy charm is dead boxy charm is gone all they're trying to do is make sure they retain those boxy charm subscribers and bring them over to ipsy because there were people unlike me who were subscribed to just boxy charm and now they had no choice once they merged unless they wanted to get rid of the box completely to move over to ipsy they called it a merger i'm pretty sure it's more of just a buyout let's go ahead and move on to the last surviving glam bag this feels very light very like thin and light so the base ipsy glam bag is supposed to be like 13 bucks i could charge like nearly 16 dollars for this every month they get charged like $15.89 because they added like a shipping handling fee and there's taxes and stuff. So this is like a $16 bag by the time it's all said and done. Oh, silky. Oh, how strange. This looks like an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus bag. Typically Ipsy bags have like a little zipper to them, but this is like just kind of a drawstring pouch, which is what you used to get with the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. It's very silky. I kind of like that. It has like a light pink background to it and some pretty yellow flowers with like a black and white string. Kind of doesn't really go together, but at the same time, almost kind of does. This is the July 2023 bag. All of these are actually from this month. Shocking, I know. This theme is the Great Escape. It says, pack your makeup bags because this month we got a one-way ticket to dewy skin, glossy hair, and so much color. I'm holding you to that, Ipsy. They have never delivered on color, not even one time. A refreshments takeover. Did I not just say I had no idea what refreshments were? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're actually telling us what the products are on the inside. So let's go ahead and get on into this. I don't necessarily know what they mean by a refreshments takeover. Like, is stuff we've already had, like just redos of other things. Uh, the first thing I'm seeing in here is a little brush. This is from Toy Factory. I don't think I've ever seen anything from this brand before. This is a B9 blending brush. And uh, the packaging, for some reason, looks like this on every brush we've got in the past, like, two months. It's a very small little opening to get this out of. Ooh, it looks like an icicle. It's a very interesting little, like, acrylic, kind of iridescent, icicle-y shaped, uh, jaggery looking <laughs> makeup brush. It's like a non-uniform shape, very jaggedy and stuff. I kind of like that. I think that's kind of pretty. Reminds me of Christmas. I don't love Christmas. Uh, the bristles feel not crazy. <laughs> my arch nemesis, the fly. They're not like crazy soft or anything. They're also not super well packed in there. Something about them feels a little bit different than brushes I'm used to. But I mean, you know, it's fine. I'm sure it would do some nice blending. All right, next up here from the brand Floss, this is a Brighten Up Highlighter. Again, if these are refreshments or things that we've received in the past and they're just like putting them out again because they, you know, had a lot of left over and they're just like, here, have more of what you've already had. If that's the case of what they're talking about with refreshments takeover, um, so far I haven't had any of these before, so that's good. And this little highlight is in the shade Sunlit and just, you know, pretty standard looking little package. It is kind of cute though. I like the color of the uh, lettering there on the front. It's like a very kind of bright white highlight. Ooh, oh, like yellow. That's interesting. Oh, it's actually kind of a pretty color. It's interesting. It's like not necessarily golden, but there's a good amount of like yellow to it and it kind of has a shift to it. Very pretty, uh, nice and reflective. What color would you call that? It's almost like a little peach this way and then like a little like canary yellow <laughs> that way, which maybe canary yellow wouldn't be like my first choice for a highlight but it is really pretty it looks nice and glowy and not chunky glittery so it's incredibly hot in here <laughs> i just put fake tan on my legs and it's all like i'm slipping off my seat right now <laughs> little fake tan slip and slide. Following that, it looks like we have, oh my goodness, this is a black eyeliner. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is from Shades by Shan. We're seeing a lot of Shades by Shan recently. <laughs> Why won't this open? Ooh, 
this is sapphire on it, so I'm hoping it's gonna be like a pretty color. They did promise us color, so far we've seen none. This is called the liquid pin, and I like the shape of it because it is mimicking like kind of an old school pin. Like if you take this off, it should look like a fountain tip or something. I mean, it doesn't, but like if it was a real old pin, it would look like a fountain tip. Oh, is that actually blue? <gasps> Ooh, that's kind of beautiful. That's actually really pretty. That went on really, really smooth, very pigmented, and I love that shade of blue. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna get you guys like a really wide swatch so you can really see the color, but that's so pretty. Okay, it doesn't work as well swatched that wide uh, because it's kind of pulling off some of the color, but just so you can get an idea of what the color is like, it's like a really intense kind of deeper blue. I'm glad it's not like super bright blue. I feel like this is actually something that could be wearable. I don't really do a ton of like blue eye looks, but I feel like even with like a cool like brown look with some blue eyeliner, that could be kind of interesting. All right, Ipsy, you said you're gonna give us color and well, at least we have one thing that's colorful. Let's go ahead and move on to the rest and see what we have in here. Well, uh, there's a good chance that this isn't very bright and colorful. We have something from Seraphine Botanicals. This is a Ambla Nude Silky Nude Eyeshadow Palette. And the, the amount of the times they've said nude on this palette makes me think that they're probably not gonna be very bright and colorful. Oh, it's crafted without any talc, so that's good. It's supposed to be fallout free and has intense mattes and lusters. It's supposed to be very velvety on skin. Pigments are finely blended with Amla fruit powder and healing cassava root for natural long-lasting adherence. Oh, well fun. I mean, yeah, these are definitely nudie nudes. <laughs> they are, they're just some like nice browns and creams and stuff. Definitely not super colorful, but oh, I did just say that like a nice brown eye look with this blue eyeliner could be kind of cool. So I mean, maybe what if I just like kind of faked it and <laughs> just to see what it might look like with these two colors together. Those are actually really soft going on. They're not crazy pigmented to be honest, but yeah, they're them swatched like right next to that blue and I could see how this could be like a kind of fun eye look just something a little bit different. I was hoping they would be a bit more pigmented but they were really velvety feeling like nice and silky. If you really do kind of like dig around in there and pack them on they do have a bit more pigment to them. Yeah I mean they're they're pretty shades. I do think that you could make a really cool eye look with those colors together. All right and last but not least in this ipsy bag we have this little box here of what looks to be a tiny little lipstick maybe. Ooh jelly juice that's fun sounding. This is a tinted lip glow from Trifle Cosmetics. The packaging's really cute. I like the little rainbowy unicorns and cupcakes and stuff. Very cute. A yummy glow up lip treat made with a my oh, myriad. That is the word that that is. <laughs> myriad of plant based oils, a vitamin E, and shea butter to create an irresistibly bouncy texture for your lips. Ooh, it's infused with cranberry and raspberry. Oh, I thought it was gonna be maybe like a little, um, you know that fuzzy foot on a doe foot, doe foot, fuzzy foot on a stick in like a tube, but it's actually just a tiny little squeezy tube. Again, very cute packaging with like little rainbows and cupcakes. I'll go ahead and give this a try. I'm really interested in seeing if it, is oh my goodness. That came out very fast and also very, very juicy looking quite bright and intense. Is that glitter? It is glitter. That is super, super juicy, wow. It's not, it's not too juicy tasting. Unfortunately, I thought it was gonna taste kind of like juice or jelly. Either of the two would have been fine. <laughs> it doesn't taste the best, but it is very glossy and it feels really good on the lips. It's really smooth, but it is very liquidy feeling. So if you don't like that kind of like liquidy feel on your lips, you might not like this. I feel like it might like just like flow off at any moment. Like it feels like it's barely hanging on to my lips. All right, you guys, so that was the base Ipsy. I'm gonna give you guys some prices of what these things would be if they were full size. So let's go ahead. What? <laughs> this has to be the base Ipsy bag, like the regular glam bag, because I don't think they make anything besides that in that box charm, the icon box. So this one definitely has to be the regular glam bag. But it says you get five new products valued up to $70. Typically it's 50. And it says all of these are full size items, even though too. Uh, so the Tribal Cosmetics Jelly Juice Tinted Lip Glow in Twinkleberry is 12 bucks. The Shades by Shan Liquid Eye Fire, Eye Fire? That sounds like an issue. You should probably get like checked out by a doctor. Uh, liquid Eyeliner in the shade Sapphire is $18. The Toy Factory Blending Brush is $16. The Seraphine Cosmetics, the little thing you were bought there, the eyeshadow palette is $34. That can't be true. This little thing for $34, I feel like them and e.l.f. use like the same packaging for their little four pan palettes. But e.l.f. definitely doesn't charge $34 for them. And then we have the highlighter, which is apparently another full size for 20. So like that's, that's kind of a bunch. And that's not typical for Ipsy. Ipsy, are you doing okay? Are you feeling feverish? Do you need to like take a rest, take a lay down? There are all these things. You're saying they're full size. Am I reading this wrong? I'm going to show you guys. All of that says MSRP, full size, and then like gives the price. But when I added it all together, it's $100 and it's supposed to be valued up to $70. What's up? Ipsy, this is suspicious behavior. I feel like I need to like look this up and see if this actually is a full size. Well, holy guacamole, this is actually full size. 
realize that it is $12 on a trifle website. Why are you giving us more value than you would say you're gonna give us Ipsy? <laughs> so this is suspect what's going on. I mean, thank you, that's lovely. An Ipsy bag with all full size items in it and like a good amount of makeup and some color? <laughs> Explain yourself. All right, well, I had to stop filming for just a minute because I had to pack up the boys to go to their grandma's tonight. <laughs> They're staying the night with my mom and dad and I had to get their diaper bag all packed up. So unfortunately, our background buddies have left us for now, but they're gonna have a good time with grandma and grandpa. All right, packing this up, still kind of in shock a little bit. Ipsy gave you more than they promised they would and I don't know what to do with that. Before we move on, I would love to tell you guys what today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Sleeping is one of the things that I enjoy most and Helix makes it even more enjoyable with their premium mattresses. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. I've had my Helix mattress for over two years now and it has helped improve my sleep so much. I used to wake up super stiff and sore, especially in my shoulders and my hips. But since I switched to Helix, I don't have that problem anymore. I've been partnering with Helix for quite some time and it's so awesome to see your all's comments saying that you guys have tried Helix as well and you've been loving your mattress. One thing I really love about Helix is that unlike other brands, Helix mattresses do not contain any fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. Helix actually owns their own own manufacturing facility which is entirely free of products containing fiberglass. Helix knows that everyone is different and to ensure you get the best mattress for you, they made a sleep quiz to match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. I personally am a side sleeper who loves a super soft cloud-like mattress and I share my mattress so the sleep quiz matched me with the Helix Sunset Lux and I think it is the perfect choice. Like I said, I've had my Helix for over two years now and I'm just loving the sleep that I get and so is my husband. I'm just sleeping so comfortably on our Helix mattress. It's super soft but also supportive in all the right places. With your Helix mattress, you also get a 100 night sleep trial and a 10-year warranty, plus there are financing options and flexible payment plans. And the best part about all this is that Helix will deliver your mattress to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up. I set up working this mattress all by myself. Can you guys hear that? As I'm unwrapping the plastic, it's starting to puff up with air. I first love my Helix mattress, and if you think you would too, be sure to check out Helix. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com to Alexandria, get 20% off your mattress plus two free pillows. And just thank you so very much to Helix for sponsoring today's video and helping to support the channel. It means the world to me. But let's go ahead and move on into these boxy charms back here. Just so brand new and different because there's some slight different colors on the outside packaging. I believe these were like $31 now. At least that's what I get charged, like $31.25 or something. So that comes out of my PayPal. You know that emotion that I was talking about before being satisfied with my Epsi? That's gone now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If I'm not mistaken, I'm fairly certain these are supposed to come with five items. Uh, where is the fifth one? Boxycharm slash Ipsy? Good. Great. Okay, so we're seeing like a little magazine thingy on top here. Um, to me, this looks like even more paper than they used to put in there, but still less information. It says get to know your Boxycharm pick worth up to $200, and uh, this is what we have. So let me show you guys the, the four items that we got in this Boxycharm. Item number one. This one sounds kind of cute. This is from Sweet Street. It is a candy paint. Shimmer look gloss so that could be a Kind of cute. It's in the shade Comet. I don't typically love really glittery lips, so I'm hoping this is more of like a subtle glitter to give just kind of like a shine. Ooh, that's actually a really pretty color. That's a nice kind of neutrally pink. I honestly was expecting this to just kind of be like clear with some glitter in it. Just because like Comet, that's what I picture Comet looking like. Just like a clear little glittery in the sky. Let's go ahead and try this. This will be like the seventh layer of lip product I put on today. I guess I could wipe this off. I did find this towel. I think this came from my Elemis pack. Package. Sorry, Elmas, I'm gonna use this to wipe off lip gloss. I know it's not what it's for. Ooh, that's actually so pretty. That was a hair. Ooh, okay, it is kind of glittery. It is very shiny, but at the same time, the glitter just kind of makes it look like I have extremely glossy lips. I really like the base color of this though. It's so nice and neutral. There's just like a little rosy hint to it, but it blends in really well with like my natural lips. And it's just that, that shine of the glitter, it's a little intense, but <laughs> kind of pretty. Oh, there's the hair. I hope that came from the towel instead of the actual lip gloss tube. I'm sure it did. Ooh, there's kind of like a candy taste to it. Not too much of a candy taste though. It's just like a little bit of that like kind of sweet scent to it. The glitter isn't too like scratchy chunky feeling on my lips and it really, it does look just like a super, super glossy lip. The glitter isn't like big hunks or anything. So I like it. I think this is pretty. I'm glad I don't think it's pretty since we only have four items in here. I hope I like all four of them. Okay, I thought honestly, well, it's not, it's not shiny gold enough. I thought this was going to be another JLo product because every single Boxy Charm Ipsy we've received recently has had a JLo product in it. But this is from Mahava. Again, another very, very common brand to get in these boxes. This is a 24 karat gold mineral mud mask, which now that I'm thinking about it, that seems real familiar. Have I received this like recently in the past? Like, 
recent in the past like couple months or something. Why is there actually gold in here? It does say that there's Dead Sea Mineral Mud combined with pure 24 karat gold. I guess technically if they even put like the tiniest little fleck of 24 karat gold in here, you could say it includes 24 karat gold. Cause I'm looking at the ingredients and I'm having a hard time finding it. Nothing on here says gold. And then I also like at the very end of this quite long ingredient list, like all the way down here at the bottom, that is where you start seeing like the Dead Sea minerals, the Dead Sea salt, water, all that kind of stuff. And if you don't know how ingredient lists works, like the, the thing that's the most in here, which is water, will be listed as the very first ingredient. And the thing that is the very least in here, which is dead sea water, will be the very last ingredient. So ingredients are listed from like most to least. So I don't really know how much like dead sea minerals are actually in this. And then for gold, I can't even find it. There's probably some fancy scientific name for gold though. And I, I just don't know what that is. Anywho, a mud mask. That could be kind of fun. I hope it's actually gold on the inside. That'd be cool too. Following that, we have something from Il Maquillage, which I swear, have we received all these things before? This also seems incredibly familiar. This is the Icon High Volume Intense Curl Mascara. And like, I, I, I feel like I've held this tube in my hands before. Standard little mascara tube in the shade black, I'm assuming. Didn't even check. Black. Yep. And then finally, somehow, even though I'm fairly certain there are supposed to be five items in here, we have the Fez eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. So I did also get an email from Ipsy saying like, hey, so apparently they're having issues with their Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes and one of the pans is like loose or something and apparently a lot of them are coming broken. And uh, they said like, hey, like we know that this is a problem. If you get a broken one, it didn't really say that they were gonna do anything to fix it. They're like, it's still fine to use. And uh, here's a 25% off Natasha Denona coupon. It says, hey Alexandra, I hope you're doing well. We're reaching out regarding a product in your July box and Natasha Nona Fez eyeshadow palette. We've heard that in some cases, one of the shades in the palette may become loose and come out. Your experience is important to all of us and is our top priority. In the case that you do have an issue with your palette, and even if you don't, we partner with Natasha Nona to offer you an exclusive coupon code for 25% off anything on their website. And then at the bottom, there's a pro tip on how to like repress the pan in your palette to fix it. So I'm sure if like standardly, if you get a broken eyeshadow or something in an Ipsy box, you can email customer service and get like, a replacement theoretically. Um, but they're kind of nipping that in the bud. They're like, you're not gonna get a replacement. Here's the coupon code and how to fix it. Yup, there it is. Yup, broken. Now, my conspiracy theory is that Natasha, <laughs> again, this is just my conspiracy theory. Convoluted, don't sue me. But my theory is that Natasha Nona had a bunch of these palettes that got damaged somehow in production or something like that, but they sold them to Ipsy for very cheap. And then Ipsy was gonna send them out anyway with a disclaimer saying, hey, this is like kind of a known problem where this pan gets a little bit loose. But you can't return it and you can't replace it. Uh, so here's a 25% off coupon to the manufacturer of these palettes. It's still fine to use, just you can't get another one or a different one because all of them are broken. <laughs> conspiracy, that is my conspiracy. So um, anyway, it's a really pretty palette. I don't think I actually have this palette from Natasha Nona. Ooh, it kind of matches this. <gasps> Look at that. Is that intentional? Probably not. <laughs> but we have like the really pretty blue with the browns and stuff. So yeah, that, that's kind of fun. If you do get this box in the bag and you get like the, these same items, then you can have a fun eye look. I'll go ahead and swatch these. That's a very creamy brown. We got a nice gold here. Every time. You gotta make like a little swan hand and then <laughs> focus. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Why don't I just re-swatch them? That's probably the smarter idea. And they're all swatched. I do kind of wish, honestly, this blue was like a more intense, rich blue like this. It kind of comes out a little bit more like aqua, bright, neon blue. I really wish it was a bit more like deep and rich, but like these especially swatch really nicely. Those are very, very pretty. Anywho, it's a conspiracy. It's a convoluted conspiracy, but that just, I don't know, that popped into my head. I was like, what if they knew before? All right, so I'm really not 100% sure where my fifth item is. While I'm on my phone, I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my account just to see like what it was supposed to be because I'm fairly certain you're supposed to get five. Oh, that's never happened before. Um, it says something went wrong. Please contact care. I've never, I've never seen that before. All right, so I was finally able to get to the account that this is associated with, and it looks like I am missing a Rihanna Ripley, a bold lip color stick in the shade Divina. And I totally forgot that I did actually pick out some items from these boxes. I was like adamant that I was going to make the actual choice window, which I finally did, um, but I was only able to make choices for one of my boxes and not the other for some reason. I, it's so confusing. It's, I don't, whatever. But anyway, this is one of my choices and it just didn't come in my box for some reason. I will attempt to contact Ipsy Care and see if I can get them to send that to me. Let's make sure it's not like in the paper anywhere. It is definitely unfortunately missing, but that would have been my fifth item. So we'll see if I can get them to send that to me, but I almost, almost kind of doubt it. I'm sure I'll get like points or something for the Ipsy 
Ipsy shop and they won't actually send me like the physical product. Anyway, that was my first box. Let's go ahead and get on to this box. I guess this is the one that I wasn't able to make choice on for some reason. Um, I did the same thing like when I clicked like choose your products now, it just kept flipping me back to that same page, which is so frustrating. All right, so it looks like we do have five items in here. Oh, it looks like we have five items in here. They fell into the pit. They fell into the pit of makeup that's underneath this table. I don't know which one I'm <laughs> I have like multiple bins just full of makeup underneath this table. And I don't know what's what. Oh no. Okay, time to log into the other account so I can figure it out. Dang on it. I feel like this might have been one. I feel like, yes. I feel, I don't know though. It's the Marina Serum. We've received this 7,000 times. I have no idea if it came in here or not. All right, I think I was able to collect everything from the pit that is below me. Uh, hopefully these are all the correct items. So the first thing we have here is from Shop. Diana B Miami. Uh, this is the Beach Babe Cream Bronzer, which I have been using a cream bronzer recently. I always say like, I'm not a cream product person, but there is a really nice cream bronzer. It's in this gross bag. This one, the triangular one from the brand that makes everything triangles. LYS Beauty, this is a very nice bronzer. So uh, maybe this one's good too. Oh, I shoved my finger right into it. <laughs> I hope I like it because I have poked my finger directly into it. So I don't know if anybody will want that. It is maybe a little bit on like the orangish side. Um, maybe a little extra tan but you know I do have on my like oh look at that I do have on my fake tan so maybe it will go with the orangeness that is the rest of me it feels a little bit more waxy than the one that I showed you guys from LYS and it is definitely on the orangish side but uh, I can give that a try and then next up like I I love that a small brand has been able to find their way and just so many subscription boxes but we do get the same type of products from Earth Harbor all the time I've received this marina biome brightening ampoule. I don't even know how many times I received like a serum from them. Like I said, I love that they have gotten out there. They're getting their name out there. They're a small brand, small business. So good for them. I just happen to get a lot of subscription boxes. So I see it all the time. It's always the same pretty blue color every single time with a little bloopy top. Following that from Lucky Chick here, we have a Lucky Days Lip and Cheek Multi Stick. Got a cute packaging on that. I like the little like mauvey purpley pinks. This is enhanced with rosehip seed, jojoba oil, and shea butter. And it's a multi stick. So I'm assuming you can use it for multiple applications. Your lips, your cheeks, all that kind of stuff. I think it even says it on the box. Yeah, lip and cheek, yeah. Oh, this is kind of swirly. It's a little bit like pink. It's a little bit red. Um, It might be a bit too bright personally for me. Um, As a blush though, I think I might like it better than on my lips. It looks just like a big like melted Crayola. Did you guys ever do that project in school where you like melted crayons together in like little molds and you had shaped crayons? Crayon, 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 crayons. We always did that in art class and I still honestly think my mom has those. I had like a little frog with like multiple Multiple colors of green and blue in it. That sucker's like 25 years old and she still has it. Oh dang. <laughs> Alright next up here we have something from Trace Luce Beauty. This is Playa Dreams. Oh and it's a duo highlighter with two different shades Everlasting and Paradise. It does have a little sticker here on the back covering up some of the instructions and things and I wonder what's underneath it. Probably just more instructions and things. I don't know why I get so curious about stuff like this. I'm like what are you covering up? Oh interesting. Okay so apparently before this had soothing Mexican blue agave in it but apparently not anymore because they covered it up with this little blue sticker. I wonder why not. I wonder why they changed the formula. So you do have it, two little highlights here. This one is Everlasting and this one and that's always confusing. Okay, this one is Paradise. No, this one is Paradise and this one is Everlasting. And the Everlasting has a little plastic cover on it because this is a cream and this is a powder. I do really like the color of the powder one. Again, not a huge fan of cream highlights because that's something that I put on like on top of everything. So if I already have on my foundation and powders and stuff like that, putting cream on top of it just kind of makes it gunky. That's really pretty. Ooh, that has a really nice glow to it. It's a little tiny bit icy, but it's not just like pure white. There's some pink to it and just really pretty. Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and try this on right now. I feel like I could use a little extra highlight. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, okay, it does look maybe a little, that's the word I'm looking for. It washes me out a little bit. It's looking maybe almost a little ashy on top of everything else I have on, but it does give a nice glow. But unfortunately, it does look a little bit on the ashy side. I feel like maybe if my foundation was less tan, it's, it's currently only this tan to match like the patchy fake tan that I have going on right now. It was my standard kind of lighter shade. It might blend in better with my skin, but it's, it's not bad. It's pretty, at least it's kind of glowy. And then finally, last but not least, we have a nice size palette in here. This is from Ciate London. Of course it is. This is the Brazilian Glow Eyeshadow Palette. I really do like Ciate London stuff. They're just becoming like 
overwhelming inside subscription boxes. <laughs> They've, you know, kicked and knocked something over. I'm in my smoothie! Ah, it's on the floor! And you know why it was on the floor to begin with? Is because I thought it would be safer down there than on the table. I was like, well, if I'm gonna knock anything over, it's gonna be something on this table. So I set it on the floor. <laughs> Little did I know I'd be like doing kicks and stuff um, and knock it over. Anyway, uh, back to the palette. Ew, these are very pretty shades. Pretty standard warm tone shades, but you guys know I absolutely love this kind of shades. Uh, they are really pretty. I like the color selection in here. They just seem kind of like rich good colors they don't look too like powdery dusty definitely like these shades i just happen to have a ton of these shades already but this is a nice palette it has four times six 24 24 pans which is nice and i like the shade selection in here it looks like you have some good shimmers some mattes and uh, it's a fairly standard palette but it's pretty Alrighty, so that was everything in this what was that? And just flew up my face. That was everything in the second boxy charm. I mean, yeah, I like this one better in the fact that it has all five items in it that it's supposed to have, which is, that's pretty good. However, some of the items just like weren't super exciting. That like Marina serum that we get all the time, it's just, it's something that we get repeated over and over and over again. Even I think if you don't have a ton of subscription boxes, I feel like that's something you've definitely seen before. Then we have, you know, a couple of cream products and things. So maybe not the most exciting box, but I do like that there is a full size palette in there. And again, it came with five items like it's supposed to. So that's good. Honestly, I think the star of the show is the, just the base Ipsy Glam Bag. I can't believe I'm saying that, but they gave us a hundred dollar value. Everything was supposedly full size. There's makeup stuff in there, blue eyeliner. I feel like Ipsy was having some type of like identity crisis when they put that bag together. That was actually pretty nice. I will see if it is possible for me to contact Sephora and try to get that other product, but I have a very strong feeling that they're probably just gonna give me like points or credit or something towards another product. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!